We are producing new engineered materials every single day, and those engineered materials are getting into consumer applications. So, for instance, materials with dimension nano, which are 100,000 times smaller than the diameter of the human hair, get implemented in anything from the ink on the printers that we are using today to tennis rackets. However, before we implement those new materials into applications, we need to understand whether they are toxic to the biological systems or not. So in my lab, we are looking at understanding what are the interactions between those engineered materials and biological systems. So far, we've been able to demonstrate that some of the materials that are being produced today, they are not only getting into the cell in a very selective manner. Those type of interactions are actually altering cell dynamics. One of the analytes that we are looking at is actually a drug that is very selective against cancer cells. Most of the chemotherapeutic agents makes you lose your hair or makes you, you know, gain weight. So that's usually happening because the chemotherapeutic agent cannot really distinguish between the normal cells and the cancer cells. So if we have a drug that will really kill cancer cells, then all these side effects, they are not going to be visible anymore. So part of my research is trying to answer that question. Can we develop a drug that is really selective against cancer cells and kill only cancer cells? I think the university and the state of West Virginia has done a great job informing the resources or the next generation of scientists because we are the ones to ask those fundamental questions and by answering those questions then we can maybe develop applications. For instance, once I understand this interaction of nanomaterials with biological systems, then I can protect the worker that has to work with those nanomaterials by creating the protective equipment or by setting the norms of exposure. Or maybe I can develop the drug that will be highly selective towards cancer cells without affecting normal cells.